Okay, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to try and create a newspaper from a Google Doc. So the first thing you need to do is figure out what your layout is going to be. So let's click on table here, and we're going to insert a table. So let's have a three-column table. Okay, so let's put three columns in. Um, and let's, so how about, let's do three rows for now. Okay, three columns and three rows. Uh, what I also want to do is I want to make my paper wider and longer. So I can click on File and then go to Page Setup and then I want to change the margins. So let's change the margins to one each. So our margins are going to be much smaller. Now you can see my page has got much wider. Uh, well, the page hasn't got wider, but the table has got wider. See? Okay, so now what we need to do is think about how are we going to um, lay this out as a newspaper. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to merge these two cells. So, I want them together, so I'm going to click on Merge Cells. I'm going to right click and click on Merge Cells. And this is going to be the title of my paper. So let's call it The Nexus Times. Okay, now that's too small for a newspaper, so I'm going to make it much bigger. Let's make it 96, that's too big. Let's make it 60, maybe too, slightly too big. Um, 48, okay. And let's change this column, okay, so we can fit it in, all right? Now over here, this is where we can put a little bit more detail. So maybe uh, the dates, okay? So um, today's date is Thursday the 12th of March. Okay, so let's change that. Okay, and let's make the font here say 18, Thursday the 12th of March. Okay, right, now we've got our, um, where we're going to put our stories, okay. So I'm just going to just shrink that back down a little bit and I'm going to change that. You can actually move, you don't have to select one of these, you can actually type over it. So I'm going to make this 44, all right, and that fits that in a little bit better. Okay, this is called the Nexus Times and now we need to start putting our stories in. So this is where our first story is going to be. So in our first cell here, this is where we want to put our headline. So let's have a look. I've got a document over here. All right, this is my headline. Okay, so here's my headline. I'm going to take that and then I'm going to go back and then I'm going to put my headline in there. Okay, let's make it slightly smaller. All right, so maybe 14. All right, there's my headline for my uh, story. Okay. And then in here, this is where I'm going to put my story. Before we add the story, let's add another line, okay? And then I'm going to merge these two, all right? So I'm going to right click and merge the cells. And now I'm going to paste my story in, okay? So now you can see here we've got two areas where we could put stuff, all right? Now the other thing is, is we need to get our image. So there's our image. I'm going to use the research tool that we looked at last time to look for Dame Evelyn Glenny. Let's put that in. Okay, and let's go to images. Okay, now there's a nice one of there of her drumming. All right, and let's put that image in there. Okay, and now let's shrink it. Let's wrap the text and shrink it just slightly. Okay, and now we can put that where we want it. Okay, there's our and let's just make it slightly bigger. Let's move it into the right position. So the text is wrapping nicely. Okay, so there's our first image. If we wanted to, we could put another image in there. Now, if it wraps onto the next page, what we need to do is make our font slightly bit smaller. So I'm going to change the font, and we're going to change it to 11, not 12. Okay, so there we go. It's 11 and 12. Now, that fits our story in nicely. Okay, our next story. Okay, what I want to do is I'm going to merge these two cells together. Okay, and now I'm going to put our headline in here. So let's go to our story. There's our headline. And let's put our headline in there. And let's change that font to maybe 18 on this one. And then under here, we can then put the rest of our story. Okay, so let's scroll down. 
and there's my story, copy, and then paste into there. Now again, we want to make it the same font. So what font did we have last time? We had it as 11. So let's click on 11, and actually that's pasted the photo in. Let's take that photo out, and we want a photo of Jeremy Clarkson. So I'm going to copy that and paste that in there. There's some pictures of Jeremy Clarkson, so let's take that and drag that into our story. Okay. Let's try that again. Let's put it in the right place, maybe at the end of the sentence. And then let's shrink that down. We want to wrap the text. There we go. So we've got a picture there of Jeremy Clarkson. We have got some space at the bottom here, so we could, if we wanted to, write another story down at the bottom. Okay, so let's do another story, okay? And here, let's put in our last story. Blurred lines on this one. Copy, paste. Let's change the font to maybe 14 on this one. And let's merge, or well, let's put it in, merge these two together. Okay, so we want to paste this story, so let's take that, copy this story, and paste it into this area here. Okay, so now the story appears in the second page. Now we want it to appear in the first page, but we have some space down here, as you can see. So let's cut this. So it's Command X, we'll cut it. And let's paste that in there, and let's see how much we can get in. So let's take this column, cut this column, and paste that in there. Now that's good, that's a good, right, if we add a new line there, okay, and now that's going to end up starting on the next line. So we want to just join these cells up, okay, cut that, and merge these two cells together, and then paste it back in, okay. So let's see what that produces. Okay, it's fitted perfectly onto our page. Now there's one more thing that left to do. What we need to do is select everything, right click and then we go to prop table properties. And then what we need to do is reduce the table border to zero and then click OK. All right, and now you can see there is my newspaper. Okay, and it looks quite good. All right, so that's how you would create a newspaper using Google Docs. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.